warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Porto against Senna St. Petersburg. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. So the two starting lineups. difference here well Witzel is an interesting character he won't back down from a challenge thanks to his, his combative nature and he's happy to give it to the more capable attacking talent uh, he'll be looking to assert a physical authority on this game so yeah he can be a real force okay interesting Tries a through ball. Keeper's ball. Oh, good interception. Danikov. Pings it out wide. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. And he's made certain that won't get through. Done very well to intervene. Rishito. Witzel. Garay. Caddy Garcia. Polk. Danikov lobs it in gently. A delightful ball. How about it? Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Lombards, the right, Tammy Garcia. Fence has got rid of that. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And that's a throw. That's not going to go down too well with his teammates. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. A potential goal of the season contender. If only. Well, everything about that was perfect apart from the execution. He could so easily have made them pay then. Danikov <laughs> gets it away. So who's he picking out? Whipped in. He's dealt with that well. Looking for a decent ball in. Whipped it again. Passes it through. Danny. Fishito. And the whistle goes for half time. An engrossing half. But we're still where we started, nil-nil. This will 
goes, and we start the second half. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Goal! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Witzel. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Managed to get it away. Porto being made to look sloppy in possession here. Brahimi. It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with absolutely the right commitment. All the way back and they start again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Porto get it back again. Now the pass. It's a promising ball. Cochrane. They scored early in the second half to give them a 1-0 lead. Looks to slip it through. Ishito. Porto hasn't made a substitution yet. Ishito. It's a long pass towards the front. Witzel. Bubakar. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Danny. Aimed long and direct. And the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Porto just have to run down the clock. Now it's Brahimi. Hanikov. Hulk. They really need to start moving the ball forward with pace at this late stage of the game. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Porto win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them, they upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.